Good evening and welcome to the Senior Awards Day program. This is the opportunity for our teachers to recognize our students, our senior students, and their contributions to High School South and the various departments. Hey, it's Mr. Leventhal here uh, in our first virtual awards ceremony, perhaps uh, maybe the only one ever. And I'm going to present the Art Award. I would ask if we were together for a round of applause for all of the art seniors who are graduating this year, really to put that much talent and interest into something that is your passion probably deserves an award for everybody at some point. Although I guess it's kind of its own reward in many ways. Um, there's many graduating seniors here who could have gotten this award. Uh, we, as a department, we look at passion, drive, commitment, effort, involvement in the school and the community, future plans, skill level, lots of things. And even looking at all of those things, there are many here who could have very well deservedly qualified for this award and who do deservedly qualify in many ways. Um, that being said, it's probably no real surprise to most of the people here that this year's Art Award, which every year I'd like to mention is unique. We give a different award every year and a different gift. And this year's the, like a shadow in the night, art flows blissfully through me to the rhythms of my mind, body, and soul award. And the animation books that go along with it are going to Adam Yang. Congratulations, Adam, and congratulations, everybody. Congratulations to the class of 2020. This is an outstanding senior class, and I'm happy to have been part of some of your journeys. I'd like to recognize two young ladies who have been excellent students in my accounting class and who have always strived to do their best, to learn new material, and to serve as role models in our class. These two young ladies are going to go very far, and I hope you will join me in recognizing Nidhi Patel and Phoebe Jin as the 2020 Senior Award in Accounting. Congratulations. Congratulations to the 2020 graduating class. You are an exceptional class, and I'm happy to have been a part of many of your journeys. Please help me in recognizing the 2020 Senior Award winner in marketing, Blake Wood. He demonstrates creativity, an ability to think outside the box, and generates interesting conversations and asks thoughtful questions. Way to go, Blake. I'm proud of you. In computer science, the first award goes to Tim Miles. Tim is a rare student in computer science for many reasons. Tim was a student of mine for two years, and from the first day, his abilities in computer science were obvious. Not only is Tim one of the strongest computer sciences students I have ever known, but he is humble and helpful, not just to other students, but to his teachers as well. He has the ability to simplify concepts and explain them to others without ever giving the impression that we are many levels below him, which let's face it, when it comes to computer science, we are all many levels below Tim. If I was to give more awards for helpfulness and kindness as well, Tim might very well sweep the awards ceremony. Our second award goes to Dapancha Singh. Dapancha stands out as one of the most eager learners I have ever had as a student. Not only is she extremely detailed in her thinking, but she is never satisfied in just getting things done. It has to be done well. There are some students who are focused on grades, and, and there are others who just have a thirst for learning. When most students finish a project, they get their grade and move on. When Dapancha finished a project, even after she got the A, she would often come back to me and show me new and better approaches she developed. Not because her previous work was wrong, but because her new work was better. Dapancha's consistent desire to develop as a top level programmer makes her a senior standout in computer science. Hi, I'm Miss Edor, the engineering teacher at High School South, and I've selected two students from the class of 2020 that I'd love to recognize for their excellence in engineering. Craig Olak and Max Sperling. Congratulations to both of you and congratulations to the class of 2020. 
Hi there, high school South seniors. It's Ms. Bozian, and I'm here representing the Family and Consumer Sciences Department in the first ever virtual senior awards presentation. See, it's been a long time tradition of our department to honor those students who show excellence in any of the classes or programs that we offer through our department. So firstly, I would like to recognize two seniors in the Youth Teaching Youth Program. One worked with Jennifer Ramirez at Hawk School in a second grade classroom, and that would be Danielle Lovero. Another one is one who worked with Joyce Schenker in a seventh grade math classroom at Grover Middle School, and that would be Iris Zhang. Each of these young ladies have a genuine heart's desire to become a teacher, and I know that they will be awesome. So, congratulations, girls. The next award is the department award, and that goes to a student who displays outstanding dedication and academics and service to the department. And the young lady that I would like to recognize in regard to this this year is one who not only excelled in child growth and development, but was a teaching assistant during her senior year, almost completely running and organizing the Pirate Preschool under my direction. She is an outstanding student and an outstanding individual, and I am very, very pleased and honored to present the 2020 Family and Consumer Science Award to Simran Data. And lastly, I'd like to ask you a question. How many of you can say that this June is not your first graduation from High School South? Well, did you know that there's three in your graduating class who actually graduated once before, but it was from the Pirate Preschool many, many years ago. So I'd like to recognize and honor those three individuals here today. The first one is Jerome Gregory. The second one is Chiron Mehta. And lastly, Dhruv Shastri. Congratulations, boys, on your second graduation from High School South, and congratulations, class of 2020. You're awesome, you're amazing, and I know you're gonna be incredible once you graduate high school. Congratulations. Hi there, it's Mrs. Scheller. On behalf of the Language Arts Department, I'd like to give out the senior awards. The first group of uh, recipients have won excellence in language arts, and their names are Ryan Calm, Shravni Bagod, Ronit Sethi, Jeanette Smith, Jasmine Medhurst, and Mahika, and Mahika Goel. Uh, our second group of recipients uh, are getting the Love of and Commitment to Language Arts Award. Uh, first, we have Connie G, Olivia Williams, Amanda Guest, Lindsay Walter, and uh, Angela Song, and Elise Nass. Nicely done. Congratulations. Uh, the third award is for Most Improved in Language Arts. Uh, for Most Improved, we have Ishan Misra, Ibad Jamal, Geneva Tandia, Maya Oksvari, Emmanuel Storino. Nicely done. Uh, the fourth award is for Most Improved in English as a Second Language. Uh, we have one recipient, Chun Yuan Zhang. Congratulations. Hi, Pirates. Hello, Pirates. Hi, Pirates. Hello, Pirates. Hi, Pirates. Hello, Pirates. The math department celebrates all of you. We are proud of all the work you have done over the course of the past four years. We have watched you grow in your understanding, knowledge, and most importantly, your problem-solving skills. You have made lots of mistakes. Lots. And you have endeavored to learn from each of them. You are resilient, hardworking students. Together, we have studied algebra, geometry, statistics, and maybe even a little calculus. 
We have pushed you to think deeply, and you have pushed us to be the best teachers that we can be. Today, we will highlight some members from your class for their outstanding growth and accomplishments in the field of mathematics. Our first award goes to five math practitioners. The Math Practitioner Award is given to students who have shown exemplary growth in their problem-solving skills, perseverance, and pursuit of conceptual knowledge. The Math Practitioners for High School South are Rohan Dishpande, Ishan Ivatori, Dana Young, Suman Kandapali, Emmanuel Limberg. We also have the pleasure of honoring our outstanding mathematicians. These seniors have shown dedication to learning. They've challenged themselves with the highest level of coursework. The outstanding mathematicians for the class of 2020 are Emily Huang and Lindsay Walter. Yay! We are certainly proud of our award winners, but really we are proud of all of you. It has been our honor to teach each and every one of you at High School South as you have brought your own form of joy, laughter, and learning to the pirate math community. We're going to miss you all so very much. Congratulations again to our winners. Please keep us updated in the future. We wish you only the best of luck. Good afternoon, seniors, and congratulations. The choir department has four awards that we present annually. The first is the Dave Christensen Choir Award. This award is presented to a senior who has gone above and beyond what's expected of him or her. This year's recipients are hardworking, dedicated, strong musicians who are always willing to share their time and talents with the choir program and our a cappella groups. They worked incredibly hard, both in and out of class time, to help create an environment where everyone's unique talents could be recognized and celebrated. They were also willing to give up their study halls all year to serve as lab assistants for the Corral, where they proved to be invaluable resources. It's my great pleasure to award the Dave Christensen Choir Award to Allison Lee and Matt Lem. The next award is the Mark Fleming Scholarship. This award is given to a senior who has demonstrated leadership, integrity, and strong character. This year's recipient embodies all of those traits and so much more. He is an excellent musician, a strong, caring leader, and just an all-around wonderful young man. I'm pleased to award the Mark Fleming Scholarship to Caleb Coe. The National School Choir Award is the highest honor for high school choral performers. It recognizes the dedication, leadership, and achievement of the top choral students in programs across the United States. To preserve the integrity of the award, schools are limited to only two recipients each year. On a daily basis, these students demonstrated what hard work, dedication, and resourcefulness look like in model students. They were never afraid to speak their minds, to lead by example, and to show others how amazing and impactful vocal music can be. So, in recognition of singular merit, ability, and achievement, of outstanding contributions to the success of the school choir program, and an unusual degree of loyalty, cooperation, and high qualities of conduct, by the general consent of the music faculty and school officials, I am elated to present the National School Choir Award to Sam Forrest and Iris Sang. Congratulations all. Today, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Ferre, Dr. Bouget, Dr. Hevers, and I will be presenting the Science Department Senior Awards. These awards are given to students who not only do well in our science classes, but also demonstrate a passion for science beyond curricular work and demonstrate high levels of integrity and collaboration. I will be presenting the award for Outstanding Student in Chemistry. This student has demonstrated an exceptional understanding of chemistry, a phenomenal ability to connect concepts to the real world examples, and analytical skills that rival the brightest minds. This student has shown a deep interest in chemistry and has been kind enough to help their classmates during labs and assignments regularly. This year's award goes to Annabelle Gua. Congratulations. 
It is my pleasure to award Jillian Dowling with this year's Outstanding Biology Student Award. Jillian has demonstrated a real passion for studying biology this year. Congratulations, Jillian. I will be presenting the award for Outstanding Student in Physics. The recipient of this award has demonstrated an innate curiosity to understand how our world works since their first physics class. They also showed an interest in physics outside of class by attending seminars and programs and participating in a senior option internship at Princeton Plasma Physics Lab. Within the classroom, the student was always willing to help their classmates, whether it was with a question or an experiment. This year's physics award goes to Maika Gol. This student is a passionate learner and threw herself into the study of human anatomy and physiology headfirst. As co-class secretary of HAP period eight, she has not only mastered the structures and functions of the human body, but how to bring her peers together collaboratively and facilitate their learning. She has gone above and beyond in every unit of study and has been an instrumental co-curator of this year's digital Happy Museum. A teacher in the making herself Danielle Lavero is this year's recipient of the Award in Applied Sciences. She sees the larger picture and understands both holistically and in detail how the disciplines of physics, chemistry, and biology play out in the amazing workings of the human body and brain. Congratulations, Danielle, for your excellence in scholarship and masterful leadership. I am so very proud of you. I am honored to present the award for all-around outstanding senior in science. This student has excelled academically in three of our AP science offerings. He has an undeniable passion for science, and in the classroom, he has spent tremendous amounts of time and effort helping other science students understand science better. He has such integrity and high moral character, and every science teacher who knows him would say that he is honest, respectful, and mature. He is the extremely dedicated president of Science Bowl, and he has done an outstanding job both coordinating and motivating other students to rebuild a strong team for South. And he's one of the best lab aides I've ever had. This year's award for all around outstanding student in science goes to Aditya Rao. Congratulations to everyone. How we doing, class of 2020? It's Mr. Garzio here, coming at you from my basement, coronavirus style, to present the 2020 Social Studies Department Awards. Now, normally we'd all be in the theater together, and I would make a few inappropriate, borderline inappropriate jokes, and Mr. Leppel would get very uncomfortable, but not going to do that this year. Sorry. Uh, but I do want to leave you with a few thoughts, and then I'm going to get to our, our four young ladies who are, are deserving award winners, and the guys are getting snubbed this year. And the reason for that, guys, is because the girls are just more talented than you, and that's that. So get used to it. Now, first thought, turn to your parents after you watch this video and thank them. They have done everything they could to get you in the best possible spot to be successful in life. They have made sacrifice after sacrifice. They've invested everything they've ever earned almost into you. So thank them. And I realize that because I'm a parent myself and there's only one reason why you would go to a kids bop concert in a hundred degree heat and sit there and watch the kids bop version of Thrift Shop by Macklemore. It's because you love your kids and you'll do any, you're willing to do anything for them. So thank your parents. That's the first thought. Second thought is be resilient. Don't sweat the small stuff. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. You take your family seriously and you make that work. You take your career seriously and you make that work. You take your college seriously. Take your hobby seriously. Take it all seriously. But don't take yourself too seriously very important. All right, people that take themselves too seriously, other people don't like them. And you want people to like you. Now, on to our award winners. 
Uh, the first young lady is Finn Lennox. I had the pleasure of seeing her present an unconference on the immigration test, the U.S. immigration test. It was very impressive. Uh, the next young lady, I don't know, but she's on this list, so I imagine she's, she's worthy of an award, uh, Theza Friedman. Uh, the next young lady I got to know this year in my uh, AP U.S. government class, uh, Annabelle Sue. And the last young lady I have got to know in my American Studies class this year, uh, Jasmine Medhurst, who is the only student who ever scold me and actually make me admit that I was wrong about something. So uh, that's not why she's winning the award, but that's just a little piece of information about her. So I'm at three minutes right now, okay? Now they told me I had to do this in three minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ramble on for a few seconds and I'm going to let this go over three minutes just to see what happens. All right. I want to see if they're going to make me redo the video. I want to see what happens. I just want to see what happens. Um, but just to reiterate, class of 2020, go out there and get after it. Get it done. Put the work in. Be successful. Be happy. Okay, and don't take yourself too seriously and thank your parents and eat your vegetables. And that's it. That's all I got. Thanks. Oh, hey there, high school South graduating seniors. Caught me in the middle of my daily chores, just cleaning the cast iron skillet. But you know what? As I was doing this work, it made me think of a really powerful anecdote I'd like to share with you. It's about a grandpa and his grandson sitting on the porch and the grandfather tells the grandson, you know, I've been having this recurring dream about two wolves constantly in battle with each other. The one wolf is everything that's negative about the world. Sorrow, fear, greed, anger. And the other wolf is everything that's positive about the world. Love, sympathy, humility, serenity. And they just are in constant battle with each other. The grandson looks at the grandpa and says, Grandpa, which wolf wins? And the grandfather looks at the grandson and says, That's easy, grandson. It's the one you feed. So, with that being said, I'd like to give some honor to 17 young men and women that have fed the right wolf through their years. Student Council Representatives, Abel McCarr, Anna Good Godfrey, Annabelle Sue, Ben Fanta, Elsa Maroney, Jillian Dowling, Johnny Pinto, Jude the Ferrari Ferry, Lassia Tinetti, Lindsay Walter, Mahika Gull, Megan Martin, Matali Shroff, our historian Gia Witt, Special Assignments Officer DJ Otman Mohanty, Vice President Larry Zhang, and the President of Student Council. Tommy Kalitsis. To those 17 individuals, congratulations. Hello, Pirates, and congratulations to the entire senior class. I hope that this finds you safe and healthy, and while I know that this is not the end of the year that you expected or you deserve, I also know that you are pirate strong and resilient and you will not let the current circumstances surrounding us to diminish your expectations for a bright and successful future. And now on to our theater awards. Each year we present theater mugs to seniors who have met the criteria. Um, in theater, the word mug means to use an exaggerated facial expression and usually hold this expression out to the audience to take it all in. Whether your mug was last seen in a fall or spring production, it is my hope that you will carry this mug and the memories we've made here on the South Stage with you when you leave. In addition to senior mugs, each year we select a few recipients who have gone over and above, um, beyond what an actor or a team member uh, usually is required. Um, this year it was really difficult to choose just two, which is not a bad problem to have, so I'm thrilled to announce four recipients of the Distinguished South Theater Awards for 2020. I'd like to ask Danny, Kelly, Sam, and Shravani, please, to stand wherever you are. Between the four of you, you have exhibited professionalism and tireless dedication to your roles. 
uh, sweeping the stage, building sets, scheduling and rescheduling rehearsals, designing and painting beautiful posters and programs and sandwich boards, and taking pages and pages of notes, keeping students accountable, and a multitude of things in between. All four of you have gone over and above. And if we were in school, I would sit down with you and expand on all the qualities that have earned you these awards. All four of you not only take your own responsibilities uh, to heart, but you do so with a willingness and genuine desire to help others fulfill and exceed their personal goals. Most importantly, you've done these tasks quietly, behind the scenes and out of the limelight. I've always believed that it's what you do when nobody's watching that truly defines who you are and what you have done when nobody is watching is extraordinary. It is in that vein that I present Danny, Kelly, and Shravani with the Distinguished South Theatre Award. Congratulations, ladies. Now, the following students will be receiving the South Theatre Mug Award. This award is given to students that have met the criteria of at least two seasons of service and have exemplified a good work ethic on stage and off, a willingness to help others, and lastly, a genuine love for creating art on stage. Your mug is filled with a couple of things. There's some pirate booty to treasure the memories we've made here, um, a pirate ship full of lifesavers as a reminder that you will always have a safe place here in your South Theater home, and lastly, a certificate for one free ticket to a show of your choosing in the future. Without further ado, with two to three seasons of service, we have Matt Lem, Phoebe Elias, Danielle Lavero, Ella Ramirez, Alice Semoff, and Josh Silva. With four to five seasons of service, Corey Easter, Sam Forrest, George Gochico, Elsa Maroney, Megan Martin, Sonia Tejwani, Josh Akbar, Shravani Bagawaid, Alex Franco, and Kelly McElroy and with seven to eight seasons of service, Matt Odideron. Congratulations to all of you. I've certainly um, cherished the time that we spent together in South Theater, and I know that your experiences and your education here have prepared you to um, have a great future. Um, follow your dreams, continue to create art, and like many pirates before you, go and do great things in the world. Godspeed. Love you guys. Hola, I'm Senora Moncada, and I am honored to represent all the South World language teachers today and recognize some of our stellar language students. Each of the teachers has written something about the award recipient. For excellence in Chinese, there are four recipients. Shreya Vasagiri, Mrs. Yu says, I'm very happy to see your growth in the past two years in my Chinese four honors class and AP Chinese class, especially since you showed that you are brave and mature by living in China for six weeks. Armin Oberoi. Mrs. Yu says, it was such a joy when you shared your Indian customs with us. You are diligent and independent. Ha Ji Yoon. Mrs. Yu says, you are sweet, respectful, and thoughtful. I loved it when you shared your Korean customs with me when we learned about the Chinese Moon Festival. Hong Zen Shi. Your attitude toward learning is excellent. You are respectful and polite. For excellence in French, Prof. Martin says she loves all her students, but this year's award goes to Siraj Daru for excellence, unwavering commitment, and steadfast dedication to the study of French language and culture. For excellence in German, Frau Pachelek says that Thisa Friedman is deserving of this award as she has displayed continuous hard work and motivation in her journey of learning German. Thisa has demonstrated that hard work pays off and has excelled tremendously in the German language throughout the years. Thank you, Thisa, for your dedication to the German language and congratulations on your award. For excellence in Spanish, there are four recipients. Senorita Villacres says that Iba Jamal is a responsible, respectful, and kind young man. He always shows a love for learning and always makes an effort to apply new concepts and ideas learned in class. She is sure he has a bright future ahead. Senora Papowski states that Rana Arura is receiving an award for excellence in Spanish for his four years of consistent dedication to learning the Spanish language. Throughout his four years at South, Rana has always been an enthusiastic participant in Spanish class and brought his intelligent and well thought out opinions to classroom discussions. He always strives to improve his language skills. The final two awards for excellence and love of the Spanish language go to two of my seniors. 
Sophia Lennox, better known as Finn, and Jillian Dowling. Both of these students are always engaged. They are helpful to others. They both love learning and want to constantly improve their Spanish skills. It has been a pleasure and an honor to teach both of these young ladies. My hope is that they will continue to use their Spanish to explore the world and they will never lose their passion for learning. Congratulations to all the World Language Award recipients this year. We will miss you very much and we wish you all the best. I would now like to introduce the Athletic Department Awards. First, Rex Walker Award, which is in honor of our former athletic director, Rex Walker. The two students, student athletes who have earned this award this year are Austin True and Jillian Dowling. For our CBC, CBC Sportsmanship Award, we'd like to recognize Tegvir Gill and Amanda Guest. And for our NGS, NJSIAA Scholar Athlete Award, we'd like to recognize Ben Fanta. To be considered for a National Merit Scholarship, semifinalists have to fulfill requirements to advance to finalist standing. Each semifinalist submits a detailed scholarship application, which includes essays and information about extracurricular activities, awards, leadership positions. Semifinals also have to have an outstanding academic record, be endorsed and recommended by a school official, and earn SAT scores that confirm their qualifying test performance. From the semifinalist group, a certain number of students, varying from year to year, advance to the final standing depending on the above criteria. By the conclusion of the competition, a select group of finalists are chosen to receive the prestigious National Merit Scholarships, totaling nearly $35 million. Winners are the finalist candidates judged to have the strongest combination of athletic, um, academic skills and achievements, extracurricular accomplishments, and potential success in rigorous university studies. Scholarship winners represent fewer than 1% of the initial pool of student entrance based on official statistics released by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. This year's National Merit Scholarship Award winners are Jillian Dowling, Navina Aranki, Mahika Gold, Emily Hawaiing, Lawrence Jiang, Ryan Combe, Akshat Lau, Angela Song, Shmidi Shrukanth, Shivani Srivastava, Serena Yutang Wang, Connie Chi, and Kevin Chi Zhu. West Windsor Plainsboro High School South Class of 2020, it is with great honor that I have this opportunity to present the Principal's Leadership Award. While leadership awards for many people think they are tied to titles, whether president or captain of a team, I think of leadership as someone who does leadership every day, someone who makes everyone else's life better just by doing the things that they want to do to help others out. So when I think about this young gentleman, I think he embodies that idea and that in every day he's tried to make school and life a little bit better for everyone. This year's Principal Award recipient is a young gentleman who has grown tremendously since he came to our district in seventh grade. He has gone from being a shy middle school student to an outgoing, gregarious high schooler. Everyone he meets considers him a friend. He never has a mean thing to say about anyone and always gives everyone else the benefit of the doubt, sometimes to a fault. He has taken on various leadership roles throughout the school and the greater community. Even during this pandemic, he has taken time to coordinate donations for St. Peter's Hospital. He is wise, reflective, and empathetic. He listens to others without judgment and is always willing to lend a helping hand. He opens his heart to all those that he meets. He is someone that peers and adults can speak to due to his understanding, kind, and caring ways. He makes many people's day every day. This year's recipient of the West Windsor Plainsboro High School South Principal Award is Avi Pandey. 